Cherry is an American crime drama film of 2021. The plot of the movie follows a young man, Cherry, who joins the army as a medic before getting married to the love of his life, Emily. However, after returning from his two-year service, he suffers from PTSD, due to which he becomes a drug addict, making his and Emily's life miserable. The movie starts in 2007 with a 23-year-old boy, Cherry, heading out on his truck to commit a robbery. Through his background explanation, it becomes evident that he's suffering from depression and is pretty much done with life. It turns out that he has been used to doing robberies and knows all the tactics to commit a successful one. As he enters the bank, he fires a gunshot into the air to scare off the public and goes straight to the teller to retrieve the money. As he looks at the lady teller, a certain kind of sadness overtakes him and he goes into a flashback. In 2002, when Cherry was attending his university, he fell in love with his beautiful classmate, Emily. After class, Emily comes to greet Cherry and introduces herself, but Cherry breaks her heart when he tells her he already has a girlfriend since high school named Madison, who goes to school in New Jersey. Cherry takes a bus to go meet Madison on the weekend. However, he becomes enraged and breaks up with her after she takes him to a strange party with every dude crushing on her. Later, Cherry starts working at a restaurant, but due to his poor dough-making skills, he fails to last even two weeks. After work, he goes to his best friend James Lightfoot's house. James' mother and father died when he was young, and later his brother returned from war all depressed, so James is mostly alone. Cherry and James then head to a bank to resolve an issue with Cherry's bank account. James' friend Roy and Roy's cousin Joe also tag along. Joe is signed up for the Marines, and James keeps insisting on Roy to stop his cousin from joining. As they reach the bank, James' wrecked car burns up, plus Cherry's bank issue is also not resolved. So, the four friends return back to James' house on foot. The next day, Cherry goes to meet some kids who want to use a Xanax, which Cherry has been taking for a while because of the panic attacks that he's been having lately. The kids tell Cherry about a party that night, and Cherry decides to crash it. After getting high, Cherry goes to the party only to find Emily there. The two engage in a flirtatious conversation, after which they share a passionate kiss and spend the night together. Emily is a really compassionate and empathetic girl, and that is all a guy like Cherry wanted in his girlfriend. She was a cure to Cherry's sadness. However, deep down, Emily herself was a broken soul due to her abusive parents. When Cherry confesses his love for her, she only thanks him as she does not believe in love. Just when Cherry and Emily's relationship starts thriving, Emily decides to break up with Cherry and go study in Montreal. Cherry begs Emily not to break up with him, but she's adamant about her decision and at last leaves. To cope with his sadness, Cherry decides to enroll in the U.S. Army as a medic and goes to the Armed Forces Career Center. At first, the officer takes him as a joker, but Cherry proves them all wrong by showing his will to find his purpose. Finally, Cherry is sworn in to fulfill his two-year service in the Army. However, his friends are unaware of this. James keeps convincing Joe not to leave for the Army as he fears that Joe will end up like his brother. Little does he know that his best friend Cherry also has enlisted himself. Just then, Cherry gets a call from Emily asking him to meet her the last time before she leaves. So Cherry calls her to a new restaurant where he's been working. At the restaurant, Cherry desperately waits for Emily and she arrives with her friend Benji. Cherry's mad at her for bringing a friend along to say the last goodbye and politely ask her to leave. Cherry's really sensitive and weak. He gets really devastated by his heartbreak. The restaurant owner cheers him up and asks him to pay extra attention to a guest, Tommy. Tommy and Cherry hit off pretty well, after which Tommy drops Cherry at his home. As Cherry walks into his house, he's surprised to see Emily there. Seeing him, Emily starts tearing up and apologizes to him for her behavior. Cherry, being a devoted boyfriend, comforts her, and the two spend some quality time eating muffins. Later, Emily tells Cherry that she's decided not to go to Montreal, as she's in love with him. Cherry is puzzled and tells Emily that he's already joined the army. They decide to continue their journey separately with Emily completing her two-year degree and Cherry joining the army for two years. So they get married in a courthouse before Cherry's deployment. In 2003, Cherry started his basic training, which he had to get his head shaved and get a couple of different shots. During his training, he befriends Jimenez, who also wanted to be a medic. Cherry survives rigorous training and the horrible attitude of the sergeants. He's taken to Iraq as a medic where he has no other choice but to witness horrible scenes. His fellow soldiers were also pretty sick with the training, and one even tried committing suicide. The only thing that kept Cherry going was the thought of returning back to Emily. He had to train with mannequins to get the basic war medic training which he and Jimenez eventually passed. 
Finally, Cherry and his fellow soldiers are stationed on their first ever actual battlefield. As soon as Cherry steps foot in the war zone, he gets scared. His friend Jimenez motivates him and encourages him to get going. Cherry comes across a wounded soldier and is shocked to see his guts hanging out. He quickly puts his guts inside, assuring him that he will be fine soon and sends him back in a chopper. After Cherry returns to his camp, he and his fellows are in despair after being part of such a horrible experience. They witnessed eight casualties on the first day and are scared for the rest of the year as that area that they're stationed in is called the Triangle of Death. They continue patrolling every inch of the area all day long. At night, Cherry and Jimenez continue taking care of the wounded Iraqis, and both the buddies build a great friendship over time. One day while patrolling, Cherry asks his sergeant to take another route, as the route that they are on is not safe and could get their vehicle stuck in quicksand. The sergeant disregards Cherry's advice and decides to use the same route, after which their vehicle ends up getting stuck in quicksand. Jimenez and three other soldiers are sent to get a tow cable. Just when they leave, their vehicle is blown away by an IED. Cherry rushes towards the burned vehicle and is devastated to see Jimenez and the other soldiers burnt up. Having no other choice but to fulfill his duty, Cherry is forced to put the burnt up, boiling hot body of his friend into a bag. The grief of losing a friend takes a toll on Cherry, and he's unable to handle his loneliness. To cope with his sadness, he talks to Emily and vents his emotions. Finally, his two-year service in the Army ends, and he returns home in 2005. He's warmly welcomed in the U.S. and honored with the Medal of Valor. However, Cherry does not think that he has achieved anything big. When Emily comes to his convocation, Cherry is relieved to finally reunite with her. Emily takes Cherry to a house that she has built. Cherry starts taking night classes at a school Emily was working at and works during the day. Life looks great. However, having a traumatic experience during his training, Cherry starts suffering from PTSD and isn't able to sleep at night due to severe anxiety. He starts taking Xanax to cope with his panic attacks. Emily's frustrated to see Cherry's crazy behavior, and as a result, she also begins taking Xanax to deal with her own frustration. By that time, Cherry's best friend James has become an addict, and at one time he accidentally breaks into someone's house thinking it is Cherry's and ends up getting arrested. Cherry gets James bailed out, after which they start hanging out more often. Emily, on the other hand, is worried to see Cherry's negligence toward her and his duties. Seeing Emily's sadness, Cherry decides to get himself clinically treated. His doctor recommends Oxycontin, which he later starts abusing. Emily's done dealing with Cherry, and out of frustration, she decides to take Cherry's medications. Both of them start getting high together, reminiscing about old times, and, and eventually become addicts to Oxycontin. The two of them lead an addicted life and become dope fiends, injecting each other with heroin soon. Soon, Cherry goes bankrupt and starts asking for money from his drug dealer friend named Pills and Coke. Pills and Coke asks Cherry to look after a safe for him. Cherry agrees to do so, but later he along with Emily and James break into the safe only to find it packed with drugs. They use most of the drugs and then one morning, while they're high, someone knocks on their door. Thinking that it's the police, they immediately flush all of the remaining drugs, but it turns out it's not the police at the door, but Pills and Coke. Pills and Coke are boiling mad at Cherry after seeing the empty safe. He tells Emily and Cherry that his drug dealer boss, Black, is the owner of that safe and he will soon kill all three of them if he finds out that all his drugs are gone. To save his and Emily's life, Cherry decides to rob a bank and pay back the money the Pills and Coke. He goes to a bank and silently shows the teller a banknote that reads, I have a gun. Having no other choice but to give in, the teller quickly hands Cherry a stack of cash without making any noise. After paying the money back, Cherry also manages to keep some cash for himself, and later the two of them enjoy and celebrate their win. While they're getting high in a restaurant, Cherry gets a call from Joe, who informs him that the police are looking for him. So Cherry decides to stay low-key for a few days and spends all his money on heroin until he runs out of cash. He then starts robbing other banks with the same tactic of silently showing the banknote to a teller reading I have a gun and acquiring a load of money to fulfill his and Emily's desire for heroin. Despite robbing multiple banks, he still owes pills and coke money for his daily heroin usage. So one day he goes to a bank with pills and coke asking him to drive the getaway car. After committing the robbery, he returns home only to find Emily frustrated as she hasn't taken heroin in quite a long time. So Cherry injects her heroin, after which Emily has to be rushed to a hospital. The doctor diagnoses her with a drug overdose, and she is narrowly safe from dying. Emily's parents arrive to see their daughter. Her mother blames Cherry for Emily's condition, forcing him to leave Emily for good. Cherry complies and unwillingly leaves Emily alone. 
but soon Emily escapes her drug rehab center and reunites with Cherry. Cherry tries his best to send her back, but Emily's adamant about staying with him and getting high no matter what. Finally, the two get back to their hours and start being their usual selves. Later, Cherry's in need of money and teams up with pills and coke, and James to rob multiple tellers of the bank at once to attain more money. But as he enters the bank firing a gunshot in the air, James bails and runs away, leaving Cherry no choice but to back out. So the trio decide to let James drive the getaway car, and Cherry and Pills and Coke commit the robbery. Before the robbery, out of nervousness, Pills and Coke take a high-intensity drug. As he and Cherry enter the bank, he acts out of the ordinary, forcing Cherry to take hold of the gun. This infuriates Pills and Coke, and he bails. Cherry is left all alone, and the bank gates are closed on him. After much threatening, he manages to leave the bank. As he drives away with James, Cherry is worried that Pills and Coke will probably rat him out to the police if he gets caught, so he convinces James to look around for him. Finally, they find him and put him in the car, only to discover that he's been shot. Seeing Pills and Coke severely bleeding, Cherry asks James to drive to a hospital, but soon realize that if they do so, they'll be caught. So they leave him dying and then dump his body on the side of the road. The next morning, while Cherry is returning from a walk with Emily and their dog, Black is waiting for him outside the house. Black asks Cherry to repay his debt or else he'll kill Emily. Having no other choice, Cherry decides to commit one last robbery, and before leaving, he kisses Emily, saying goodbye. The scene then returns to the start of the movie, when Cherry is heading to a bank for a robbery. He instructs Black on the directions of the road who is tasked to drive the getaway car. Inside the bank, he takes the money from the teller and asks her to set off the alarm before he leaves. He leaves the bank and gives all the money to Black, after which he walks openly in the middle of the road. To grab the police's attention, he fires a gunshot in the air and sits on the side of the road getting high one last time. The police finally arrive and Cherry's arrested. The film ends with an epilogue where Cherry is seen recovering from his drug addiction and trauma. He spends 14 years of his life serving his sentence and is finally released on parole in 2021. As he walks out of prison, he's pleased to see the love of his life, Emily, waiting for him happily. The movie has a rating of 6.6 .6 on IMDb. I hope you all liked this video. If yes, then make sure to like, comment, and most importantly, subscribe to the channel for more movie recaps.